here with Mark Breda, who's one of the co-hosts of the V8 Supercars Australia broadcast on Channel 7. Mark, welcome to the road carpet for Cars 2. It's incredible. This is very exciting. Uh, I see Frosty just over the back there, so uh, who has a major role in the film. Yeah. So looking forward to seeing his Hollywood debut. Not sure he'll still talk to us in pit lane. We might have to go through his people now to get an answer from Frosty, but that's no, really exciting and the, the kids love cars, so it, you know, it's all action, it's all go. Now the question we're asking all our VIPs says if you were a car in Cars 2, what type of car would you be? Oh, definitely Mater, no doubt about it. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. I, uh, when I try and move like Mater, um, I creak a little bit these days, so yeah, Mater for me. Absolutely. <laughs> now you've worked very closely with Mark over the years, obviously yeah. with the V8 supercars and also with Australia's greatest athlete. Yeah. Talk us through, you know, your emotions and, and your feelings, I guess, sort of now seeing him sort of step up to this role. I think it's fantastic. You know, he's, he's a really talented guy. Um, we know athletically from Greatest Athlete how good he is, but uh, he just cracked all the guys up during Greatest Athlete, and I'm sure he's done the same with the cast here. Uh, he's a very dry, very funny guy, and during racing we don't get to see a lot of that, but I think we'll see a bit of it in the movie today, and uh, I think Frosty's having a ball just quietly. Yeah. <laughs> Now your kids, Ava and Daniel, are they going to be looking forward to the film? What do you think that they're going to be looking forward to most? Uh, this is probably the most exciting day in our year uh, because Cars is just on continual repeat at our place. So, um, you know, added to the fact that, that Frosty's here, his car is there, uh, and the kids have been over the moon. There hasn't been a lot of sleep last night at our place. Now we're off to the top end next weekend for the, uh, for the Sky City uh, Crown. Yep. Um, are we going to be seeing hopefully maybe a little bit of a turn up for the books with uh, possibly a Ford win, maybe an FPR win? Yeah, well Frosty's due, you know, he climbed up on the podium here for a bit of a joke earlier on and he said that's my first win of the year and that would be true, but he's due, you know, they're a good team and they've got a great car, we know it's got the speed and they're just that far away from getting it done. But the exciting thing this year has been the number of different winners over the, the amount of races we've had, so, you know, so long as that keeps happening it's good fun, but uh, on the law of averages Frosty's got to come around pretty soon. Absolutely. It was obviously um, one of the other big news for, for Channel 7 has been the change in the broadcast legislation to allow for, for your sister Channel yeah. 7, uh, 7, 7 Mate, for yeah. example, to be showing the to be showing some of the V8 broadcasts yeah. as well. So how's that going to benefit the armchair fans and um, what does I, that mean for you guys? Yeah, I think it's huge. You know, this, this weekend coming up at, at Darwin, um, from 12.30 Eastern, we flick on live all afternoon. So it's live racing all afternoon. You'd put it on seven, mate. We know that the audience is there. People are watching the digital channels in big numbers. Um, but it means that, you know, there's no more interrupted by footy. There's no more delayed telecasts. It, it's live as it happens in the race. And uh, I think it's really exciting. And it, it is the way forward. We, we're going to see more and more of that. So uh, for us, we're, you know, we're really excited about it. I know V8 Supercars are excited about it because effectively at, at 12.30 we flick the switch and what happens on the track you see. So it's good.